The fishing industry regulating body currently uses a system called the VMS, or Vessel Monitoring System, which pinpoints on real-time all NFA-licensed vessels in PNG waters on a screen. By their positions and movements, NFA can determine legal from illegal activities being carried out and respond accordingly. However, this is only limited to vessels bearing NFA-issued licenses. Surveillance has been one of our biggest challenges uh, since, and uh, if you look at the capacity that we have in country to be able to manage that is, is, is very small and inadequate to manage surveillance. On instructions from the Prime Minister, NFA is tasked with identifying an alternate surveillance method with efficient and effective mechanisms for fishery monitoring and control. This comes in the form of a system called the FIMS, or Fishing Industry Monitoring System, which tracks vessels through its IMO, or International Maritime Organization numbering, and covers all vessels out at sea. Movements and activities of these vessels will then be monitored through satellite images and identified by their IMO numbers in Singapore, where they are registered. This way, illegal fishing boats can now be detected and identified. NFA Managing Director John Cassis says the initial survey is taking place and once a report is finalized, it will be presented to the National Executive Council for deliberation and approval. But it's a challenge that we are, we are looking at this year and hopefully we, the, the team, the management team and the board are hopeful that we might put our national program together by this year. Since the European Commission has issued a warning in the form of a yellow card to PNG to increase efforts in combating illegal fishing in PNG waters, a number of changes have taken place in the NFA. Within the organization, surveillance, control and monitoring has been reinforced and the industry is currently undergoing a review. This will eventually contribute towards PNG's efforts in aligning the industry with the Roadmap for Sustainable Pacific Fisheries. This roadmap was adopted by the Pacific leaders in their recent forum in Port Moresby. Vanessa Knight, National MTV News.